Hi, this is Steve Powers. Today I'm going to talk about creating perspective grids again. Uh, recently I did a uh, tutorial in Photoshop uh, using the pen tool which creates paths to uh, make uh, perspective grids. I've had a, quite a few people ask me, okay, you can do it in Photoshop, how about in GIMP? Um, yes, you can. They're a little different um, and uh, they can be frustrating if you go from Photoshop and try to do it in GIMP, but it's uh, basically the same thing. First off, um, the version of GIMP I am using is 2.611 uh, that is patched with GIMP Painter. They, it may look different from the version you're using, but in this case where we're going to be using the path tool, it uh, has the same functionality and uh, this, it's, um, the capabilities is, is there. It's a basic function. Okay, um, actually let's control N, create a new one. Go over to layers, create a new layer. This is one I'm going to um, stroke our path to. Let's look at our paths here. Um, I'm going to uh, pull down a high um, horizon line and pull over vertical to create our uh, one point perspective. Um, the pen tool is the B, uh, use the B key to bring up the pen tool. Now, if you look over in tools options, you have three modes you have design, edit, and move. Uh, control and Alt are uh, the controls for those modes, other modes. Default is design mode. Um, and to make the single path, because we're actually making a line, um, we want to left mouse click, a second click, and then shift click a third time. This way it closes off the path. And this is how I'm going to make all of these. Do this rather quickly. It's like watching water boil if you do it too much. And we don't want to add uh, too many, oops, so I didn't close that one off. You don't want to add too many lines because it um, can get uh, muddy. And um, you can always go back and add as well. You can uh, delete if it gets too much. Uh, in this case, we're going to build these. And because that snap the grid, or snap the guides is on, you can just pull our points right in here. This one, by the way, I want to uh, bring down here. I don't think I have enough down there. It's got more of the image below than above. And you can manipulate. Oops. Make sure you actually grab on to it. Otherwise, you will change from a line to a curve. Paths tool is very um, useful for so many other things. This is actually just one of the simpler things you can use the paths tool for. Okay, um, let's not get crazy, and here I am getting crazy. Okay, um, well, that's only one side of the um, grid, right? So um, what we're going to do here is, uh, before we create the second side, because you can't copy and flip these gr uh, paths, um, so you, in this case, we need to stroke it. Um, Let's choose a color. You can use blue. Let's use like a, a decent color blue. Um, hit stroke to path. That brings up this option. You've got the line weight. In this case, we want one solid color, one pixel, and hit stroke. Okay. Um, get go to a different tool and uh, get off the uh, pen tool or the path tool, and um, go over to layers. Mine's a little different because I ripped it off and added it back on. Um, and you can see where this is on and off. Well, let's duplicate this layer to make the other side. And um, Control F will flip it. Um, M will help us move it. Uh, control key will actually work um, in constraining it to um, right or left. Okay, now there is our one point perspective. Well, do I have to go through all that to make a two point perspective or to change it or whatever? No, not really, because the paths are still there. What we're going to do here is um, create a new layer. Oops, Control Z. No, okay, oops, my bad. Okay, there it is. Create a new layer that way. We're going to do two point perspective. Okay, we're going to turn these off just the same. Now go back into our paths. It's still there, uh, but the eye is off. So there we go. Well, here, 
Let's do this. We're not going to start from scratch again. We're just going to duplicate this path. Okay. Um, hmm, interesting. It's still there, but it's not showing up. Okay, now it goes. Okay, I don't know why I was doing that. Um, go into the pencil. See our options here. What we're going to do is we're going to move it. And we're going to make a two-point perspective with one point that is on the canvas and the second one that is off kind of adds a little bit more um, uh, interest to it if you will okay so we're gonna hit the alt key oops yeah, excuse me this is the one thing you have to do kind of will drive you crazy is you have to activate the path before you can do anything to it and if you hold down if you just click one line then it will um, uh, move just that line if, as you saw something you want to keep in mind. Alright, pull this in and we want to make sure we got this down as accurately as we can and zoom back out. Now, um, because they're paths, I can just turn these things around and uh, manipulate them as I as I want. In this case, and I can stretch it. Now the one thing you have to do too is like, well, what's where's the other one? It's still there. And this will allow us to um, see what the other uh, one is doing, how, how they're interacting, uh, these uh, perspective lines are actually, or guides I should call them, are interacting with the uh, other uh, perspective. And you can see that these lines can now be manipulated just by moving their anchor points all over the place. You know, and they can be stretched, they can be shortened, or what have you. <coughs> and um, if you want to create another one, oops, got to close that one off. Want to create another one? You do so. Like this one, I think I could use another one, right? Maybe two. Pull this guy right in there. Pull this guy right in here. And then I can shorten it and bring it on to the other side. Okay. Now, in this case, because uh, I don't really need to copy that, I can go back into my layers because I have it active, right? Stroke the path. Hit it. Stroke it. Um, change the tool and turn off your paths because they are active there. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, it's done this to me before. Oh, you know why? Because <laughs> I still have to actually still stroke the other path, but what I'm going to do is um, leave it on uh, the same layer so it doesn't really matter. So I have that one done. Now I have to stroke this one as well. Um, go back to the pen tool and activate it. My pen tool. Okay. Oops. There we go. Click right on it. Okay. Then go to stroke the path, and you do it again. It's on the same layer, so it's going to be. Oops. Active. And you can see. Turn them on and turn them off. Um. And then um, what have you? Uh, perspective grids are very important. Um because what we're trying to do is sell a uh, two-dimensional image as a three-dimensional image. And it doesn't take a professional to see what works and what doesn't. We might not be able to articulate why it doesn't work, but we know if it does or doesn't. So do yourself a favor and work from uh, perspective grids, even if it's at the very beginning. In fact, I use it for a lot of shot design where it's just a simple thumbnail. This brings this tutorial to an end, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you.